Are you one of those people that doesn't cover their sneeze or cough? If you, if you said yes, it's okay. I'm here to help. Hi, my name is Juliana Haley, and today I'm going to be talking about how germs spread and ways to stop it. When you don't sneeze or cough into your elbow, that spreads germs and diseases, so that other people now have the sickness. Another way germs spread is through touching things when you're sick. Spreading germs is like a chain reaction. Let's say you shake someone's hand, but you have a cold, and then that person scratches their nose. A cold is not in their bodies and they're sick. If you don't want this to happen, here's some ways to stop spreading germs. One way is to sneeze or cough into your elbow, not your hands. Sneezing into your hands just spreads more germs because you're always touching things like a doorknob or light switches and many other things other people touch a lot. If you do this, it's okay. I have a solution. Whenever you feel a sneeze or cough coming on, just remember to do, in, do it into your elbow. It might be a little hard to remember at first, but soon it'll become a habit. Another way to stop spreading germs is to wash your hands correctly. The key word in that sentence was correctly. Many people say that they wash their hands, but they just rinse their hands under water. That doesn't do anything. The proper way to wash your hands is to first wet your hands with clean water, and then get some soap and scrub your hands together really well for about 20 seconds. After that, the last step is to wash off your hands really well. It isn't that hard but you'd be surprised by how many people don't wash their hands. One way that helped me remember to do this is to come up with a song or poem to sing while you're washing your hands. Mine is to row, row, row your boat. Wet, wet, wet your hands, then get some soap. Scrub for about 20 seconds, then you're filled with hope. <laughs> One other way to prevent spreading germs is to stop touching your face. When I heard this, I was confused because I thought, you don't touch anything with your face. But then I did some research. I found out that you can get a respiratory infection. I don't know about you, but I don't want that. It is estimated that people touch their faces about 23 times per hour. My math might be a little rusty, but I'm pretty sure that's 552 times per day. If you touch your face that much, your germs can get into your mucous membranes. I used to touch my face a lot, and then my dad helped me. He taught me to scratch my face with the inside of my shirt, so that way my germs don't get to working on my face. Now, don't get me wrong, I love animals. I have two dogs and a hedgehog, but they can spread germs too. Animals like dogs, cats, rabbits, squirrels, ferrets, rats, mice, and even birds can carry fleas. So if you pet or touch one of these animals, then immediately touch your face, a lot of fleas can get into your body and then you have a disease. Not only are fleas why animals spread germs, but also because of infections. Cattle, pigs, dogs, raccoons, and rodents like a hedgehog can carry infections. I'm not saying we can't have pets, I'm just saying we need to be more careful with them. Whenever you're done playing with your animal, just make sure to wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. So, let's say you have a hedgehog, like me. You take him out, give him food and water, play with him for a little, and then you put him up. After you put him up, just make sure to wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Or, let's say you have a dog. You play with him, give him food and water, and then, once you're done, just wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. My last way to stop spreading germs is to stop buying refillable soap dispensers. They may be pretty, but studies have shown that they're more prone to bacterial contamination. In fact, if you buy a refillable soap dispenser, 26 times more bacteria gets on your hands after washing than before. So, a simple way to solve this problem is to just stop buying them. Those were all the ways I could help you. Have a great day, and remember, sneeze or cough into your elbow, wash your hands correctly, don't touch your face, wash your hands after playing with your pets, and stop buying the refillable soap dispensers.